Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Certex Certification Video Training and this is the 12th video in this series and in this video I am going to show you how to create uh, basically creating Windows Server 2012 master image so you can see here on my screen I have installed few applications like uh, like Outlook, uh, MS Office, basically MS Office 2016 package on my machine and and which I am going to use as a master image. So we'll explain everything in step by step in video. So here is my uh, infrastructure. So in this video, I am going to change some settings in my uh, infrastructure. So basically, we, in this video, we have three virtual machines. First one is Win2K12 DC01, which you can see here my DC01 is here if you go here you can see my ActiveDirect DNS and DCP role is installed on this machine and you can verify my domain controller name and my domain name and and the second machine is Surtux DC01 which is my delivery controller I have increased the RAM of this machine to 8 GB you can verify from here Citrix DC01 this is basically a Citrix delivery controller also I have installed all the core component for like Citrix Zen desktop uh, uh, on this machine only you can verify the Citrix DC01 if you go here in all program you can able to verify Citrix Studio, the Gen Zen Center I have installed, Director and Storefront everything is installed so this is my uh, delivery controller server and next we have our Zen Server 01 and I have increased this ma this machine memory to 16 GB if you want to see here is my Zen Server 1 you can see Zen Server 1 server and I am going to log in in my Citrix Zen Center here to and will create the basically master image which is running on Windows Server machine so I have created one virtual machine here with Windows Server 2012 R2 installed and the machine is basically freshly installed I have just installed Windows Server and no configuration no setting has been performed yet so let's connect to Zen Server 1 first and we'll check the machine so here you can see one windows server 2012 machine is running if i click here you can see i have assigned 4 gb memory and storage you can see 32 gb um, uh, disk is attached and networking it's attached connected with my zen server 1 network and here you can see the console basically so you can see I have installed 2012 R2 machine so it's taking the IP address from DHCP and machine you can see here it's Microsoft Zen Server um, uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 data center edition here and so this is all the settings so let's go and configure machine as a like we need to configure for a template master image so the first thing we need to do we need to make sure the IP the machine is getting IP address so in my case you can see it's getting IP address from DHCP which is running on my AD server so I'm just going to make sure the IPv6 is disabled so I am disabling the IPv6 here now you can see if I refresh it must be disabled now so it's disabled now and now I'm going to join this machine in, in my domain so first I want to rename this win2k12 and mem1 and I'm going to put this in my domain which is vector infosol.com enter it will ask for credential so put the administrator credential or your credential to join machine in domain so we have few basic steps which is required to create a master image like machine should, must be joined in domain you have configured the IP address like it's getting IP address from DHCP server so these are the basic things which you need so I have just joined this machine in domain if you want to see here on my AD server let's open to direct users and computer you are able to see if you go in here in computer you are able to see the machine is joined in my domain so good and now after the machine reboot we'll do the some 
basic installation and will install the like some application which is uh, must be included in master image that's why we calling uh, calling this machine as a master ma master image or template machine so we'll wait for a few seconds so basically i'm going to install ms office 2016 on my master machine and also i'm going to install few application like let me show you which application i want to install oops it's not r2 so here you can see i have software dump share folder so i'm going to install these application basic application like adobe reader winrar notes note plus plus and these application along with ms office 2016 so we'll do this once the machine is up then we'll create a master image from this also just f uh, just for your information we can create a master image from your any virtual machine or physical machine as well as the machine must have be reachable from your uh, Citrix studio basically it can be virtual or physical both so it's now you can see it's joined to domain and it's applying security policy to the system so good to know So machine is rebooted, hit control to Dell. And now we can log in with our domain account. I have created one domain account here which is server admin basically. So I'm going to use that account only here. So now you can see I have logged in with my Victor Info Soul slash server admin account. It's loading the profile. So we have done two tasks like uh, uh, doing the basic configuration IP address and we join this machine in domain. So these are the some pre-requests and now we are uh, going to install the application which is like uh, required for creating uh, which is needed in my in my example to create to deliver on users like uh, on desktop or on the application. So I am going to install some application. It might be in your case you need uh, some different application or dif different tools which need to be installed on server or desktop operating systems which you want to publish uh, publish for your users or mach or uh, your department any department basically so here I'm going to use in a sim simple scenario so I'm going to install these application first then we'll install the MS office so for this I am going to now run command and then I am going to type my domain control IP name where the these files are shared so under the software dumps we have these folders so I am going to initiate the installation for all the application also this is recommendation from like whenever you are creating the any master image make sure your machine is fully updated with windows and all the things also you have checked the if, if there was any update for your application like you are using any older version of application like you can say for adobe reader or any common application you are using any legacy version then please go ahead and update your uh, application on your server so the users are getting most recent application on from the uh, em uh, from the master image when you are going to deploy em deploy the uh, like you can say desktop or VDI solution for your users so they will user will get the most appropriate also you can see th we have some basic stuff like whatever settings you want to do in your up uh, during the application setting you can do it 
as per your requirements so like notepad plus plus icon at the desktop so it's asking for some warning as we are running this setup from network so Adobe Air I agree and go ahead and install the application and same way if you want to install any browser additional browser like Chrome, Mozilla, Opera anything you can go ahead and install the uh, additional browser in your uh, master image now it's done now it's time to run the setup for Adobe Reader So here we have security warning go ahead now we are good to go and close this software dump and I am going to mount the installation media for MS Office which is uh, like mounted in my ISO library so I am going to install the MS Office 2016 professional only so it's now mounted if you go here you can see it's mounted in my Installation media, just wait for a few seconds to reflect here. It's there, and also I'm going to rename this like OS Desk. So, good to go here. And once that operator installation is done, we will proceed with the installation of uh, MS Office finally. So just wait for this installation to be finished. So it's preparing to install now. So make Adobe Reader as my default PDF viewer next and manually check for the install update and click next. So now it's moving to installation. Also as I told you, you have to go and check the win for the Windows update as well as so make sure you you have checked for windows update and you are properly updated your machine uh, master image to the most recent windows update so turn on automatic updates and you can go ahead and check and install for updates so let's wait for it operator So the installation is completed, go ahead and finish and now let's install MS Office 2016 so double click on DVD drive. Yes I want to run the setup. We are getting things ready from Microsoft Office. So MS Office installation is very easy for 2016, it's just one click away. So let's wait for a screen where we can initiate the installation basically. So now you can see the installation is started for MS Office 2016 and it will include like a Skype for business and uh, you can say OneDrive for business all together. So just wait for uh, uh, MS Office 2016 installation. After that, we will reboot, and you can say the master image preparation is completed. And in next video, we are going to do like uh, creating the uh, installing the VDA agent on this machine only. Then we can go ahead and um, start the like creating the catalog and image. Im uh, cat machine catalog and everything. So this is all about the like. creating windows server master email so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye